Y'all, I got a bad doggy here hanging out. He won't leave me alone. Won't leave me alone. Crazy, why won't you leave me alone? Get out. See a ginger over there hanging out? Go hang out with ginger. Move. Get move. Why won't you let me be? All right. Today is Thursday. It's June 29th. The year is 2023. I'm sitting here with two doggies. Bad doggies. They just won't let me be. Why? I'm just sitting on the deck. Normally, they don't want... They're trying to get in the house. Now, I come out here. They're trying to hang out with me. It's like, okay. All right. Once again, let me, let me try this. Atlanta, what is what is that? What is what do y'all love with Atlanta? I don't get this. Grace, why they love Atlanta so much? Well, y'all like this dog. Yeah, the way he's running around over here, that's how y'all about Atlanta till you fucking get here and suffer. I have the video after video after video after video after video after video warning people about Atlanta. Some, Sometimes it ain't working. Uh, maybe some of y'all not on YouTube, or maybe you don't know. Do not bring your black ass to Atlanta. Go somewhere else. You have been warned. The wages are low. Hard to find a job even when you get 25,000 degrees hanging on your wall. Highly educated people, still unemployed, are low wage jobs. You're fighting for every, oh, you get 30 niggas fighting for one job, 30, 300, 3,000. 50,000 The jobs don't pay shit The cost of living is high as fucking hell High rent, high housing, high shit If you don't know somebody You ain't getting in If you don't know nobody You're getting in with the lowest wage on the totem pole To suffer for the next few years Who would want to live like that? I've been in for since 37 years People always say Why are you still there? I've been in for 30 fucking years Niggas I made solid connections when I got here, and I've been self-employed the whole, most of the, all the damn time. Y'all come in here with resumes. I got, I'm going to give me a good paying job. You don't come to Atlanta, you're going to suffer like you ain't never suffered before. Why come someplace to suffer? I don't get that. This is just plain old cranberry. Ain't no vodka in here. It's too early because it's 530. I might go to the gym. Might. I had an x-ray today, MRI, they gave me some something in the, I forget what they call it, but it kind of made me feel a little weird, so I may not go to that gym today, but I'm sitting outside, it's hot out here, but I didn't bump into, the reason I did this video, because over the past week, couple of weeks, I've bumped, bumped into a lot, I moved to Atlanta in the past 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 months, and they all suffering, they, they come here, and I don't know what these y'all, it's, 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 it's hype, it's fake. It's false. Don't do it. Go someplace where you can earn a good income. Where you can buy a reasonably priced home. Where you can live it without crime and congestion and fear. Uh, that's right, fear. Or you're like, what are you scared of? Scared of, of starving, poverty, and being a fucking homeless? Fear of being robbed, raped, or assaulted? Fear of uh, not being able to pay your rent if you, something happens to you? Go someplace else. There are a lot more affordable places in America that pay decent salaries. Well, you don't have to know. You know, it ain't got all this. You know, you ain't got a Tyler Perry Studios. Then what the fuck? You, matter anyway. you ain't working for Tyler Perry. Anyway. Everybody coming to Atlanta ain't going to end up at Tyler Perry Studios. I'm starting in one of them BET shows, so forget it. I got plenty of friends who've been auditioning for years trying to get on Tyler Perry. Shit, they ain't been on one episode yet. And they have amazing talents. They have good skills. They can sing, they can dance, they can act. Everybody don't get get that big breakthrough though. Sometimes you better go someplace else and try it on your own. If y'all racing to Atlanta to suffer is what you're coming here for. Now I can see the comments now. Why are you there? I've been here forever. God damn it. I'm trying to get the fuck up out of here. It's like you get in, just get sucked into the vortex. Can't get out. I uh, sure would like to leave the fuck up out of Atlanta. I hate Atlanta. I'm not going to sit there and paint this rosy picture. Atlanta is so nice. And every time people talk about Atlanta, they always talk about these fucking clubs or lounges or shopping. That's all niggas do. That's it. Clubs and lounges or events. That's it. You ain't hear nothing about somebody making good money and I'm out, ain't my career's thriving and I'm doing great. And none of that.
I got some friends who are struggling in this fucking town. I don't even think they know they're struggling. I don't think they know they're struggling. Sometimes people get so caught up in the struggle. They can't see the forest from the trees. You don't have to always struggle now. You have to always live pay to pay, paycheck to paycheck. You don't always have to be scrounging around trying to figure out how you're going to pay your car note or get your car fixed or replace that engine when that car had because you didn't circle 285 10,000 times and your warranties up and now that engine went out. I just don't think it's, I just think there's so much many other better places that you can go. They're not going to be large cities. But well, wouldn't you want to get home in 10 minutes versus an hour later when you get off of that low ass wage paying job before you get to that flea infested apartment complex and they won't come out and spray for them damn fleas for I mean come on y'all I got friends living in some expensive apartments expensive apartments and they having a tough time getting these people to bring out and exterminate and spray them damn apartments because they got bug infestation bugs like they like the air conditioning too they don't want to be outside in this heat they like fuck this shit it's hot outside we coming inside with your black ass open up that door choose you over there they run in there <laughs> it's cool ooh baby they'll be waiting all day for you to get here let us in this damn house where the fuck you been? Oh, you in traffic. Don't do that no more, cause shit, this is hot. Shit, we glad we, we, we been waiting. We been sitting outside your door waiting, getting a little whiff of this cool air coming under that little that, that little crack we can't squeeze in under. Cause that big these bugs right down here. As soon as you open up the door, they, they like a nightclub opening up. They going to the VIP section, your living room. Waiting for you to sit down and drop some popcorn on the floor while you watch TV. Don't come to Atlanta. I've warned y'all repeatedly. Y'all don't want to hear it. Every time I ask somebody, well, how, where are you from? How long you been here? That's how you like it. They get quiet. They've been tricked. Bamboozled. Mm -hmm. Deceived. Lied to. Girl, come on down here. Atlanta, great. My mama good for that shit. Oh, Atlanta, good. Come on down here. Mama, quit telling people to come to Atlanta to suffer. Why are you doing this? Mama, don't do that. Stop it. I'm not gonna work no place. She don't know what the fuck going on out here. I'm taking care of her. I love taking care of her, but she ain't involved. She ain't rushing through traffic and getting flat tires with these bad ass streets. And she ain't going through all the shit we going through. <laughs> Y'all going through. I'm sitting up here at home with a block. And, well, ain't no block. It is just grand. There ain't no block. I wish it's too early. I was in Miami. I drink enough vodka. <laughs> I uh, figured so I better chill with the vodka for now. I'm back in, back in Atlanta. Let me see him chill for a minute. Nah, I hate Atlanta. Now, y'all know I'm going to have plane like this. So. <laughs> oh, all right, what well, is the next one? Are you okay with that? Is there death in the family? I said, no. <laughs> Are you okay, baby? Tell me what's going on. The flight attendant, she saw me. She must have recognized me. She brought me a couple of vodkas over there. She's like, here, baby. I know what the fuck you're going to. Hell on earth. Black Hollywood. I jumped off that plane and, and jumped in my car. I thought it took me 30, 45 minutes. I had to catch a shuttle to get to my car. That was about a 30, 45 minute journey right there. Get to the car, burn it up hot, blazing heat. I'm trying to get it on the highway. There's traffic everywhere. I'm trying to find some way to get to this damn house from, if you know where the airport is, I live out in Stone Mountain. That was one old fucking journey. It took me, phew. don't come to Atlanta, y'all. Don't waste your time. Go healthy, your energy. Don't do it. You've been warned, repeatedly. I'm going to Atlanta to suffer. Don't come this direction. I keep telling y'all that leave the city alone. It ain't what you think it is. There's so many lies about this damn place. So many people, they just like, here's the funny part. All the people I was asking that seem to like Atlanta, no money, <laughs> barely scrounging around here. I mean, come on, y'all. The struggle is real here. It is real. I don't want to live someplace I have to struggle. I know I don't struggle, y'all. Don't get me caught up in y'all's bullshit. I've been here for a long time. I've been putting in some firm roots. I think my life is a little bit different than the average nigga around here on purpose. Y'all trying to... It's, it's, it's hard because you're trying to... You're trying, it's, one of the things that has hurt 
black folks is the networking. You got to network, but y'all just too busy like this all day long. You're on the bus. You're on the plane. You're in the club. You don't meet nobody. Put them damn phones down. How you gonna meet somebody? You're in the gym. So your networking is kind of limited. I mean, through social media you meet people, but you gotta meet people in real life too. You got to. You can't be like this all day. Pay, 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 pay. <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. No. At some point you gotta put that phone down and say, hey, what's up? How are you doing today? You gotta meet people. Go to social clubs or something. I don't know. You gotta network. Networking has went for black folks. It ain't like we can call up my Uncle Tom and he can come hire you to go work at his law firm across the street. I'm going, I'm going out of Miami to work for my Uncle Tom. He got this law firm down there. Yep, Uncle Tom and gave, got me an apartment set up and everything. I'm be staying in his in-law suite in the basement. I'm going to be, yeah, you know, I ain't got to pay no rent. He got a little rental property I'm staying in. And I'm going to be working there for hell, hell. We ain't got no, quit lying to yourself. That Some of us might have those types of family connections. Ain't, but niggas don't got that, honey. Trust me, ain't a lot of them. A few. A few. Come in here to struggle. Ooh, the struggle is real here in Atlanta. You, ain't, you better be careful. You know, I didn't have a couple of friends get shot and killed in this damn town. Everybody I know come here, but they always in the clubs and hanging out and going places. No money. Y'all, these dogs are really getting on my nerves. I want to stick a for sale sign on their ass. Get over here. I want to stick a for sale sign on you. I want to stick a for sale sign on your ass and put you out there for sale. That's what I want to do. Put his ass, put them up for sale. For you for sale. How them doggies are for sale? The white folks drive by. How them doggies are for sale? We'll buy them. How much are they? $5,000. You take cash? Yeah, cash, credit card, Zelle, Visa, Cash App, whatever. Get these 100 months away from me. Get quit 100 on your sister. Nuts. Do not come to this city. You have repeatedly been warned. And I'm an old man telling you this. It ain't what you think it is. All you gonna do is suffer here like everybody else I know. And suffer. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I ask people, <laughs> how you like, what, how long you been here? Oh, about eight months. How you like it is? I just had a client last year, a handsome, gorgeous, attractive man, works out, physically fit, great shape. He came in for a relationship that did, that went down heel fast. I said, well, what happened? He been mentally suffering ever since his relationship with, with South I, 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 Let me just say this, y'all. I don't think it's a good idea to really get involved with uh, he was dating some stripper or something. You know, he moved here and, and moved a girl in with him. And I don't know. I guess the girl was. Uh, listen, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think none of that was a good idea. And he's been a hell on her, on her ever since they dated when he was not living in Atlanta and she was living here. They had a long distance shit. It was going great, but the minute he got here, he realized, okay, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, but she too caught up in the streets. You got somebody constantly in the streets, constantly in the streets, constantly in the streets, constantly in the streets, hanging out in the streets, and they don't want to be there. You can't turn and turn a hole into a housewife. You know, a handsome guy. He ain't into the streets like that. I don't even know what he made him possess him to think. Cause you, well, I guess he thought because I make good money, and I got to get income, and I got this, and I got that, and I got a nice body, I'm handsome, attractive. Why don't you know this to calm this bitch down? No nigga. She didn't want that. She wants them streets. He don't do drugs, he don't drink. I said, well, you didn't, you know, did you not think about any of this girl in the clubs? Drinking, smoking, partying, checking, man, naked. Did you know she was a dancer? Yeah, I knew. And you don't have a relationship with her. How was that going to work? Make it make sense. Now she's stuck up, you stuck up in this house with this, this bitch and you're miserable. You can't get out of there. You put her name on that property? 
I mean, I don't like to divulge people's business, but common sense got to kick in at some point and say, okay, leave these hoes alone. Atlanta is a very sexually driven town, gay and straight. That's all they know is sex, 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 sex. It's a commodity here. It's on the stock New York. It's on the New York stock exchange. Atlanta sex commodity. Yeah, they went up two thousand points today. Stay away from this town. Now you're trying to get the fuck up out of here. He just left here. He found some employment someplace else. He's only been here about a year or two, maybe two years. Maybe two and something years. The whole time he was my client when he was here. Met at the gym, very attractive guy, straight. What's his problem? You keep meeting these hoes. I mean, you can't find you a good woman. All these women, 10 billion women running around. You can't find a good woman here? Or is it not possible? I guess he wanted something with some eye candy. He got it too. You know, fucking headache. Wish I can see all these birds running around here. I was going to try to do these birds that come and sit there. Can you see the bird? Blue style or flew off. There must be a bird nest around here. Cause these birds hang out here. I'm gonna have to look. But anyway, this is a little short video. I'm gonna take me a nap because I'm hot. I, am, I need to take a shower. I had that they didn't put that damn contrast in me. I was burning up. I'm still hot. I was gonna work out. I ain't gonna get today. Fuck that shit. It's a beautiful day. Thursday, June 29th, the year 2023. Y'all stay away from this town. Don't come here. Don't get your feelings hurt in so many ways. There's so many other places that you need to go to and do and see. Why Why waste your time here? I just think you guys are making some bad decisions. You know, this, there's so many other places you can go and have success. Atlanta, Houston, I mean, there's, there are other places than Atlanta and Houston. That's another city. Yeah, Houston. You know, why? Y'all better figure something out someplace else. Anyway, show a little video my little rant for the day. I'm about to go in here and take me a shower. I might go to this gym. I don't know. It's hot out here. But I'm going to finish drinking my water and juice and try to get back to normal. They, they, gave, they put that contrast to me when I had that MRI. But anyway. To my call. Just, anyway, I'm out of here. Stay away from Atlanta. Don't come here, y'all. You've been warned repeatedly. Y'all ain't eating no. Uh, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Thursday, June 29th, year 2023, and I'm out of here.